Today's video regarding Canon Pixima TS3327 all-in-1 printer. I'm going to show you how to set up do your printer using iPhone. Now the first thing is to switch on the printer and once our printer is on we'll go and download the Canon print app in your iPhone and once you download it just open this app and once you open the app you will get a message do you want to search for available printers so click on the yes button and wait for it to find out the printer so if you get a message no printer found just click on the ok button and on the next screen you will get option if printer cannot be found so click on that and here we have to go for the auto connection which is on the top now click yes as we have this button on our printer now we have to press this button for three seconds so simply press and hold this button for three seconds and then release it so once we release it go and confirm on your iPhone so click on that and click on the next button the next thing is to connect next thing is to open the Wi-Fi of your phone so click OK now go and open the Wi-Fi and look for the printers Wi-Fi name here so it should appear here automatically so here we can see that is the printer's Wi-Fi so click on that and this is for the setup process so go and open the Canon print app again and here we have done it so click on the OK button and wait for the printer to connect with the Wi-Fi now it's going to connect to the wireless router and it will display the name of the Wi-Fi network click on the yes button now enter the password of your Wi-Fi network click on the OK button now this process might take some time and once it is done our printer will be online and it will be added in our iPhone for wireless printing and scanning. Here we can see the printer is connected and we can print the photos or images otherwise click on the cancel button, click on the close button and here we can see the name of the printer, there is option for wireless scanning, there is option for document print so whatever you want you can do from here and it's really easy and in case you have any problem with the connection then you can even use the printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi direct system for wireless printing and scanning and if you want to know how to do that you can just go and watch my other video thanks for watching